In this video, I will be demonstrating the bloom technique using a surprise cell activator. Stay tuned. Hey, it's Susan King, and if this is your first visit to my channel, welcome and thanks for stopping by. This YouTube channel is mostly about acrylic pouring and today I'm going to show you how to do a boom technique using Arteza paints and a surprise cell activator. So these are the paints I'll be using today. This is the box of 60, 60 Arteza paints. Lots of colors in here. I'll just show you what they look like. Come in cute little packs like this. Okay, there's a few layers here. Um, one, two, three, four, five layers it looks like. So that's them. And the colors I'm going to be using. Ultramarine blue, excuse me, mauve pale, rose matter, scarlet red, and instead of using my regular um, cell activator. I am going to be using gesso. It's acrylic gesso by Dollar Rowney. My sister discovered this. Her name is Diane and her YouTube channel is Dropping Paint by Diane. She discovered it by accident. She was she had a couple of containers on her table. One was cell activator, the other was gesso just mixed with some water. Um, that she was priming her canvases with. She picked up the wrong one and used it as a, as a um, cell activator and uh, it worked. So um, this is the brand that she was using. I tried another brand um, that I got from a local art store and it, uh, it didn't work by itself. It only worked when I added a black paint with it. So I guess you'll have to just either get this brand or um, try another brand. I know there's one other brand that works that somebody told her that works that they tried. They watched her video and they tried it and it worked. I don't remember the name offhand. I will add it in my um, description under the video as well as my recipe will be in the description of the video. So um, that's it. Yeah. Oh, my canvas is six by six. And uh, so let's get started. Okay, I'm going to show you my consistency of my paints and the cell activator. This is the red and this is the consistency drizzles off the stick in a little mound in the cup leaving a little mound and it disappears all right now i'll show you the consistency of the cell activator if i can i don't have much in here so it runs in a bit of a stream I can't show you the bottom of the cup because because there's not much left. So that's about it. That's how it that's how my consistency is. Okay, I'm going to begin with the pillow. So pull 
board on very slow. I'm going to lift my canvas up so that I can pour it as close to the canvas as I can so that I don't get any, hopefully, any air bubbles. All right, I think that's good. A bit of a storm going on here. Thunder, rain. It's tilting to one side as usual. Okay. to start with okay I'm gonna start with the scarlet red Then the mauve pale. <clears throat> then the the rose matter Then the ultramarine blue. Just checking for air bubbles. There is none so far. It also helps to keep the spoon or the stir stick or whatever you're putting the paint on low instead of up high and then letting it drip. And then you hopefully you won't get any air bubbles. I made these paints last night, so I believe we're good. All right. Okay, now my cell activator. Where's my spoon? Oh. And it's just gesso and water.
I'm just going to get a straw. I'm just trying to see if I can get this over. a little bit. Okay. And now I'm going to bring you back to the top. Okay. And I'm going to spin it because now the center is level now with the rest of the paint. Just going to center it a bit. Okay, now I'm going to spin. Moving it over a touch. I'm going to tilt it this way a little bit. I don't know why I'm getting all those dots everywhere. I use the same pouring medium. pillow as my previous blooms so I don't know what's going on At least it's not white dots. You know, I don't think, I don't think I'm going to spin anymore. I think I'm just going to leave it like it is. Really nice. As always, I'm going to be showing you the dried results at the end of this video, so uh, keep watching. Here's my dried results.
it dried pretty nice, pretty smooth. The only thing is um, the cell activator. I probably need to make it a little bit thicker because it's a little transparent over here and here. Um, very thin. Um, so I need to probably add a little bit more when I'm doing my, before I do my blow. And uh, a little thicker. So let's see how that goes. I'll show you a close up. Not really sure why I got those little spots of red. Um, pretty sure it's not air bubbles because I prepared this paint the night, the night before and let it sit. So I don't know. I didn't get these spots in my last two videos and I used the same pouring medium. So I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please sub and like and check out some of my other videos appearing on the screen. Have a wonderful day.